in the eternal horror of Belson. Prepared by the Chief Architect's Division of the Ministry of Works, a scale model of the coronation route from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Abbey is about one two hundredth of the actual size. The idea is to help officials in charge of the arrangements and the planning of decorations. All models have their fascination, and this one, it's easy to see, has been made in great detail. And details are important on the royal route, which will be transformed for the great day when all the flags are flying. And now a preview of the Crown Jewels, the magnificent and historic regalia kept in the Tower of London. Worn by the sovereign after the crowning ceremony and on occasions of state, the Imperial State Crown. Made in 1838 for Queen Victoria, it is adorned with over 2,700 diamonds as well as many famous gems. Queen Elizabeth I's earrings and Edward the Confessor's sapphire are among these gems. And below the Black Prince's ruby is the second largest star of Africa cut from the Cullinan diamond. The royal scepter with the cross was made for Charles II. The largest of the stars of Africa, biggest cut diamond in the world, was added later. The orb of England also dates from the reign of Charles II. The sword of state, born before the sovereign at the opening of Parliament, has its place in the coronation ceremony too. The golden spurs, emblems of chivalry, are used to touch the sovereign's heels at the coronation. The jeweled sword of state, a royal sword at the service of the church, has a blade of fine Damascus steel. Next, Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother's crown left, Queen Mary's in the centre and the Prince of Wales crown. The Queen Mother's is adorned with a Koh-i-Noor diamond. Queen Mary's is set throughout with diamonds, including a star of Africa. And the Prince of Wales's crown is made entirely of gold. The golden ampulla holds the oil which is poured into the spoon for the anointing of the sovereign. And finally, St Edward's crown. With it, all the kings and queens regnant have been crowned since 1661. And with it, the Archbishop of Canterbury will crown Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. 